After decades of expansion of democracy, cracks have begun to appear. Today, in country after country, we are seeing people lose faith in democracy. There's declining trust in politicians and increased polarization. Instead of democratic debate and compromise, people are hunkering down in their positions and talking past each other. Some countries have turned inward, and many citizens dismiss factual reporting and expert opinion. Others have put their faith in strongmen, unconcerned with democratic principles, who promise to solve their problems. Democracy is struggling to meet these challenges. But this form of governance has been around for thousands of years, constantly evolving and adapting to the needs of society. Is it time for democracy to evolve again? Some countries are experimenting with new forms of governance. Canada, Australia, and Iceland have tried putting together deliberative mini-publics to discuss national issues. But what are these, and how are they new? Well, democracy can be done in many different ways. We are most familiar with representative democracy, where citizens vote for politicians to represent their interests in parliament. On the other end of the spectrum is direct democracy, with referendums held to decide major issues. Deliberative mini-publics are somewhere in the middle. It's an assembly of citizens demographically representative of the larger population, brought together to learn and deliberate on a topic in order to inform public opinion and decision-making. These forums create space for regular people to discuss different sides of an issue. They invite real dialogue while drawing the rest of the country in to listen to their fellow citizens' debate. One version is particularly exciting. Since 2016, Ireland has been working on a citizens' assembly, a model where 99 randomly selected individuals under the guidance of a chairperson take time out of their weekends to talk about tough issues. Climate change, abortion, constitutional reform. Disagreements occur, but after roundtable discussions and consultations with experts, the group finds a consensus and submits their recommendations to the Irish parliament. But is it working? Do people feel like their voice is being heard? Are countries with these kinds of deliberative mini-publics making policies that resonate with citizens? We went to Ireland to find out. Our team talked to everyone from scholars, politicians, and members of civil society to your average guy and gal at the Irish pub. If you're interested in what they had to say, check out our podcast. And if you're further interested in the topic, check out our findings on the link below.